Hi, this is Greg with Engaging Teacher. I'm starting a new TPT store and guiding me through the process will be Rebecca. She started her TPT store over five years ago and has agreed to answer my questions and share her experiences running an online business. I received a question from one of my subscribers about uh, they wanted to learn more about creating covers for their products. Is, think you could help me out with that today? Sure. So your cover is the first thing that people see when they are looking at your product. And if you notice, you can have a square cover, but you also have the option to do a rectangular cover. Okay. For the most part, I would recommend when you can and you have the capacity to do the square cover. This format gives you the most real estate to get as much information out there as you possibly can. Plus, it's more aesthetically pleasing, especially when people are looking on a phone. Mm -hmm. um, it will definitely give them more information. So on my store, you know, I did the square covers anytime I bundle something because that's when I can make it cute and eye-catching, whereas the others are just my individual lessons and they just tell you what it is. So I don't have a lot to add to it. And, you know, for me, that makes sense to do big colorful squares and then the rectangles for the smaller one. Right. And then these are individual products that, I mean, you, you're exactly right. It tells you everything you need to know right there. Mm -hmm. And it's not going to be your, worth your time to spend the time to make it for every single one because you have hundreds of these right? versus these. I mean, these are your higher ticket items and you really want to make sure that that captures people's attention. Okay. And so people can choose to do a cover for every single product, depending if they just have a couple products or if they want to dedicate that time or they can do these other types. Yep. And TPT will choose the very first page of your product to make that your cover. So, I mean, you don't even have to do anything. TPT will select one right. for you. And then there are some people that don't have covers at all. Um, I don't recommend that. You need something. Okay. Okay. So, as far as design is concerned, this is a purely personal choice. Okay. What you like, what appeals to you, but then also keeping in mind um, what is going to appeal to the most amount of people right okay I mean if you like it and nobody else does that's not gonna <laughs> why are you putting it on TPT there's no point in that so you're trying to appeal to customers okay so again I always start out by doing my research I look through and I see what other people are doing what I like what catches my eye so let's kind of just take a look here I scroll through and I see kind of some different things that people are doing. Mm -hmm. um, this one has a band at the top and a band at the bottom, pictures of their product, some features listed here. It's got their logo in there and some clip art that is related to the product. Okay. Okay. This one has a big title across the top and it looks like it's a set. So they're showing you everything that's included in the set. Instead of a logo, they have created by. Okay. Okay. Um, this one has an actual picture of the item mm, mm -hmm. in there. And then it gives you some details about who it's for, what it is. Um, again, some features are pointed out. And then the creator. Okay. This one uses a really cute um, big piece of clip art. And again, individual pictures from the product itself and again just your basic information okay and then finally the same thing here they've got lots of different pictures of it showing the different bundles that are included features features title okay so yeah when you say analyze it to me I was just looking at pictures but once you broke it down like that it was easier to kind of think about how they are creating it um, so that was interesting um, how do I go about as a beginning designer um, and for guidelines and ideas? You know, I see the analysis, but what would you start with? All right. So there's a couple of different things that you can do. Um, let's just go to your channel here really quick. In your channel, you've got some playlists and you have these design basics videos that you've saved to your playlist. Mm -hmm. um, I would highly recommend that anybody who is um, going to start designing and they're not really sure, take a look at this playlist. These videos are 
really well done and they just kind of give you some reasoning behind graphic design and how it works. Okay. So it at least give you some background knowledge. Yeah, yeah, they were very informative. And then the other thing is, let's just take a look at some basic samples that don't have anything in there just so you can kind of see the different components. Right. Okay. So here we have the title of the product, and then you can have a picture of the product, your clip art, the features of the product, and then your logo. Okay. So those are kind of the key components that you want to try to get in there. Okay. And then these are all just going to be the same ideas in different formats, different ways that I've seen it. So I've seen people with the picture of the product really big with the title of the project, and they have these are often like cute little flags that they put down. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. This one we actually saw an example of with the band at the top and the bottom. Yep. And yep. then the pictures of the product. I've also seen it with a band on the side with like fourth grade or whatever it is, a big picture of the product, and then a title. Mm -hmm. um, again, picture. Now, if you notice here, this is off to the side, right? It doesn't yeah. actually stay on that. And let me show you what it looks like. So if you see, you're not seeing all of it. What okay. do you think about that? That's kind of neat. I, I would have never thought to go actually go off the slide. I stay within the line. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Look at you out of bounds thinking That's there. That's right. So. Um, and this serves a couple of purposes. First of all, you can make it bigger so they can see it in more detail. Uh -huh. But also, you'll be cutting off some of the product so they can't use it. Oh, okay. gotcha. So, all right. I wouldn't even have thought of that. Interesting. Okay. And, and people aren't always going to use it, but just, you know. But the bigger, so it's easier to see. The detail is super important. Yeah. I have so many people that are worried about trying to hide it because they're afraid everybody's going to steal their stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sorry, but if they can't see what your stuff is, they're not going to buy your stuff. Right. I mean, I personally am not going to buy something that I don't know what's included. I What am I spending my money on? Right. So, um, again, these... And none of it is rocket science. It's all just moving stuff around to see what suits your product best and okay. then what suits your style best. Okay. Okay. And then again, all of these things are going to then change color to whatever your um, brand colors are. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Um, I was going to say, is there anything I shouldn't be doing? Yeah, I'll get to that. I'll okay. show you a couple more um, examples just so you can see there's not one right way. Okay. It's really what what you like. Um, there are some wrong ways, so you're mm -hmm. absolutely correct. And so let me kind of show you just what I have seen. So something people really like to do is, I mean, I love that they want to show me every product, but they show me a teeny tiny little picture of every product, and then they don't give me any sort of preview on the inside. Mm. This, this can be helpful depending on what your product is, but most of the time it's not. Okay. Okay. So as a general rule. Don't try to show everything. Okay. Um, on the cover. Okay. Also, they get very excited about all the pretty fonts that are out there, mm -hmm. as do I. I am <laughs> very much a font collector, uh -huh. but they put this beautiful script font and they make it very small. Okay. Well, I'm on my phone now. Can, oh, I, can yeah. I see what that is? Right. I mean, maybe some of the younger teachers can, but I'm an old lady. <laughs> <laughs> I, I need it to be big and clear and easy to read. And then same thing goes for over here. And they start writing out all these things. I can't read what that says. Gotcha. Okay. okay. Or they get very excited about the clip art. And you know, the one at, that we saw with the, the little clip art on the side, that was cute. It was totally pertained to the product. Mm -hmm. But this is just a random piece of clip art in the middle. <laughs> that You're not selling clip art. You're selling a product. Gotcha. So make sure that the clip art pertains and that it's not taking up the whole thing or not obstructing the view of your product. Okay. And then a big <laughs> thing that I see... <laughs> They're like so proud of their logo. They're like, yes, I have my logo. And they make it really, really big. Well, I mean, as much as you care, <laughs> nobody else cares. Right. You're not Nike, right? <laughs> right, exactly. So, I mean, definitely put your logo in there, but just keep it to be, you know, an appropriate size. You want people okay. to still recognize you. Mm -hmm. You want your branding colors to signify who you are. But they they don't need to see that it takes up a quarter of the page. <laughs> gotcha. So if I'm making covers to begin with, you know, kind of build a template like this and then put the pertinent information in there and just try to 
create different designs and see what you like. Um, and then say I create like five or six for one product and I have all these different covers um, and I only use one in TPT, can I use those as part of like a pin ad or something like that? So it's not a waste of time, right? No, absolutely. <laughs> Playing with this design, first of all, helps you solidify what your style is because you want to do that and you want to get to a point where you have something where it is recognizable. So kind of your brand. Your brand, your look. Okay. Because I can go to different pages on TPT and I can look at a cover and say, I know who that's by. Gotcha. Simply because of the way they set it up and the branding colors and the look of their product. Okay. Um, so playing with it is very valuable for that in and of itself. Now you can't take, I mean, you could take this in pin and back in the day, they're like, no, no square pins. You can do that, mm -hmm. but let's take the same concept and put it into a pin using the two to three ratio of that Pinterest suggests. And I'll show you that in the next video. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Thank you again. My pleasure.